Hey there, welcome back guys. This video is for those that want to use the DJI Virtual Flight Simulator on their Macintosh. Uh, if you have the Integra goggles uh, or maybe other goggles, it doesn't work. I mean, it does work, but you can't see anything because it's blurry. For some reason, the resolution is just, I, it's not the experience that you want. And you're probably asking yourself, why would I wanna do that when I could use liftoff? Well, the problem is, is that liftoff won't let you automatically switch the drone to normal mode, sport, or manual, right? You can do that in the simulator. So if you're still in at beginner level and you wanna, um, you know, stop where you, wherever it is you're flying and then put it into normal mode and then go into sport a little bit, experiment in the simulator, fly around, and then maybe jump into manual, you know, until you, you reach that level of proficiency that just isn't there when you're in beginner mode. All right, so let's get started. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you have your computer on, and you're gonna download in the link, there's a, a software called Reflector, right? And once you have that installed, uh, whether you put it in your dock or not, I don't have it in my dock, but I can just type in your finder, Reflector 4, okay? And then it should launch automatically, all right? So let's just quit that, since it's already there. So remember, finder, um, or spotlight, whichever one works for you, right? So most likely you'll select there and type in reflector four. And there, it launched, right? Great, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn on your um, RC controller two, that sounds familiar, and you're going to go into your, um, your uh, what do you call it, goggles. I wonder if it'll let me record. Hold on, let me see if I can, um, no, apparently not. Um, just some other stuff. Uh, let's see. Ah, there we go. Um, nope. Can't record from the goggles unless the drone is on. I can't have the drone on for this, this video because um, you know why. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, you're gonna go into your phone, right? Um, let me get my reflector thing going. So you'll launch reflector, right? And this is what you're gonna do on your phone. Now you can't see right now, but I will show you what happens in real time uh, where you should go in your phone. Some of you might know where to go, some of you might not. Um, but remember, make sure the drone, not the drone, the drone is off in this video. You're gonna type in that code. You see that? Once you, um, hold on one second, five, three, five, four. I'm gonna show you how to get that code to appear on your phone. Um, you can't you can screen record and um, use Reflector at the same time. That's why I can't show you that. Um, but, um, so this is how this works. So you're gonna swipe down on your phone. Again, if I press record on here, uh, the, uh, Reflector will crash. That's why I couldn't show you the other way. So you see that button right here? This button, right? The, that, the, the screen sharing. You want to press that. And when you press that, the code will, will appear. Okay? Um, so once the code appears, you'll see, voila, that whatever screen is on your, 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 uh, your iPhone. Okay? So now I'm going to type in, um, not Reflector, um, the DJI virtual uh, simulator look at that already in landscape mode and look at the graphics on that it's just phenomenal crisp and clear that's how it should look in the goggles okay so you see you just heard that now that was the RC controller 2 syncing so now if I click go I'm gonna choose my drone which is the Avada virtual flight now you choose what's what, what whatever level you're at maybe you're, you like arcade mode for me I like free flight and there's no um, proprietary um, simulator you you can choose um, the only thing you'll be able to do is view it in crystal clear all right we're gonna click enter uh, let's see there you know th we have the factory which is popular you have three to choose from remember this is just until you're ready to go into liftoff and and master it you know you uh, but I well, I don't I'm not ready for that yet all right so now look I have my controllers so as you can see I'm gonna press I'm in sport mode I don't want sport mode. I definitely don't want manual mode. I want neutral. And you know, it's a good way to start. Um, so now I'm gonna do what it says. See that? Okay. 
and oh, it wants me to start the old school way and lift up there we go see I was able to lift off but I'm in neutral mode you know so this is how you can fly the drone the regular way which is really nice and you get to see how the Avada flies too you know so and you can press the buttons let's say I don't want to see the drone see it disappears that's the button the camera button oops the drone is going down and you know this is this is good this part is good for the beginner who um who just wants to get the feel of the drone right I'm like wow this is so cool um this I you know out of the box never flown uh the Avada before and, you know it lets you hover um, put it right there you know remember it's I have my drone my um, joystick set to uh, manual mode so it'll be stuck there see that I'm not moving it but I have to put it back if I want it to hover um, so if you haven't done that yet and you're experiencing wait my drone it's going down I don't understand well that's because if you have it set to manual mode on your joystick like you tighten those screws and loosen the other then you know you'll have that effect but look you can simulate move around you can fly through things. Let's say we're going to go in there. You know, you can go, whoa, whoa, you know, like, whoa, what's happening? And, you know, you just, you get the feel of it, right? You, you're, you're, remember, you're new to this, so you don't know. And you're like, oh, no. What? And you can, you can go, whoa, whoops. And, of course, you know, I'm good, but not that good. Um, see, I can't even fly through the window. Whoa. But that's okay. Um, let's see. I don't want to ascend because I want to do is I want to go down. Um, so as you can see, retry. So what you'll do is you'll just hit the retry button because I got stuck. All right, so that's neutral, right? This is this is just great. So let's say now I want sport mode. So I'm not ready to go through windows, but you know what? I just want to try. And then um, sport mode. Sport mode is okay. You know, it's flying. It doesn't, the only thing it doesn't give you is the um, how fast you're going per hour, you know, how many miles per hour. Um, you, but you can adjust the, um, where is that thing? If you lift up, you can adjust your gimbal, which is great. Um, and this is flying with the RC controller too. Unfortunately, it doesn't work um, with the... Um, with the, the motion controller, which is a bummer. and the, But of course I could see H, it's back down there. It's home, where am I? Oh, I just passed the uh, smokestack. Of course, you need to change the cam the gimbal angle so I could actually see where I'm going. And then voila. You know, this is great. This is good for beginners. Um, just beginners, remember, this is a beginner. You know, you can just fly around, around things. Now, the trick with, um, with uh, manual mode so this is why you really want to do it let's say you've reached a level of proficiency and you just want to practice using that that um manual mode button right so now i'm going to be in manual mode so you got to put the joysticks where they are and then there we are now I'm in manual mode nothing seems to so i can fly a little bit right just a little i can adjust the gimbal well, maybe a little bit there and with it, what's great about it is that up oh, the, the only downside I don't like about these simulators is that um, I have no you there's like a zone it's gonna reboot anyway um, there's a zone so I'm gonna put it back like you can't fly everywhere and anywhere there's like a, a cutoff all right so I'm gonna put it in sport mode put the remote back like it says put the green one down the other one there because you're, you're starting the way you would on your um, RC controller. So you put the remotes like this and then throttle up and then it just goes up. And then this is a good way to take off, right? So let's say I'm in sport mode. Well, it's supposed to be sport, but it flies. Um, and then and then you take off in sport mode, with like which is what I would do in my Avada. I would take off in neutral or sport mode and then fly a little bit. And everything, it's all about sensitivity, about so let's say that. See how it elevated so fast? I'm like, wait, it just keeps going up and up. And as you can tell, I am not um, a fan of flying. So I just go back. See, I go back and press the button. Okay, now I go back and I can go back down. So the drone's going to be going back down slowly. And, um, but I can fly it now. 
because left is left, right? And right is right, so I'm going to go that way. And of course, my destination is right over there. And then I can now I'm back in sport mode and I can fly. I'm going to go down, see regularly. Look at that. I'm not used to flying with the joystick, to be honest with you. It, it, but this is good. I would use, I would recommend using the joystick in sport or, or normal mode. Uh, if you just wanted to practice flying indoors, right? Inside of a building. So let's say the only downside to the joystick is, um, hold on, let me put on my headset is, um, well, my head's really blurry. Uh, so you can't see anything is that you can't, you don't see that, that guide that, you know, so you're basically winging it as you're flying. But I believe if you use your joystick while flying, um, Remember, I have my um, remote controller set to manual. Boom. All right. So, yeah, they they say it's good to use your joystick when flying in um, side of a building. Uh, if you're, you know, if you're a beginner, which is great, which is what I would do. And I'm, as you know, I'm going to retry. And that's it. So, you know, as you can tell, uh, I need flying lessons because uh, I'm used to flying with the motion controller. Um, but this is to help those that, you know, want to excel, want to try the FPV and, and can't because they're limited with the simulator um, and, and, and want to, you know, practice using the toggle switch up down you know like the neutral sport and then manual manual is really tricky and it's not for everyone um you know for me i like flying um with the motion controller you know maybe i'll never do manual uh but it was an, it's an interesting experience and for sure i'll be using the rc controller too if i do decide to fly inside um i just wish you could see the guide um but apparently not but you know you practice makes perfect and um if you're if you're you know if you don't even if you don't make it to manual mode you still have your motion controller too or you can sell it whatever works but it's really cool but i'm pretty sure somewhere down the line someone's going to figure out a better way to fly these drones and and do all those fancy tricks um inside a newer version of manual mode um anyway I hope this video helped you and you're better able to have a manual experience and using the DJI uh, simulator for your Avada drone. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos. And remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time.